will battle inside that building, the KFC Yum Center in downtown Louisville today. The hype and intensity level, it's rising. Because look who's in town, the 12th ranked volunteers, the SEC champs, they face this revived Louisville Cardinals program. First big test of opening week of college hoops for both programs. There we go. Ron Bruver, Doug Shouse, Joe Lindsay, our officials. It's the whiteout with Tennessee, the reigning SEC champs in the building. And Kev, right away, we look at the point guard matchup between Hepburn and Ziegler. They are going to be battling all day long. Yeah, two veterans there. Hepburn, number 24 in the white, just gave it away that time. Zakai Ziegler is the most valuable player, if you will, in this Tennessee starting unit. Fourth year with the program. A couple of new faces, three first-year transfers starting for Tennessee. They lost a whole lot of production off that Elite Eight team a year ago, including the player of the year the conference, Dalton Connect. Yeah. Drive and kick, this is Ziegler. Shot clock training. Knocked away by Hepburn. And so advantage Louisville, they're on the move now. It is a charged up Yum Center for a pretty important opening week battle. Aaron Pass, Ziegler pounces on it, and he finds Igor Milicic. Louisville. This is a very experienced starting five that you just saw, but it's five first year players in the Louisville Cardinal uniform. Jamai Meshack just ripped that one away from the Cardinals. Clear for takeoff. There goes Chaz Lanier, fouled on the way up. It's a uh, All-American who scored more than 20 points per game, so good idea to go into the portal, get another transfer class for Tennessee. Scored 20 a game last year at North Florida. Some glass. Case and Pryor quickly off the bench for Louisville, offline at his first look. So here is the veteran guard, Meshack. Finds Lanier, steps into the mid-range. That's good. That he talks about in this Louisville program. It's a good look for you. I think you got to wear those the rest of the week. Yeah, I, Here's, yeah, I feel good. <laughs> Here's Lanier. Uh, the vision is good there. That's, so that's his second jumper from the paint. He's got six of ten here. Pryor knifes in. Waterman smothered at the rim. Tennessee coming back the other way. Here goes Estrella. That's blocked. Phillips follows. Yes. What a sequence. One side to the other. And we talked about Phillips coming in as a, as a defender, and he shows it there on the other end. But then he sprints down, Kev, on the other floor and gets the putback. That's what these Tennessee bigs bring to the table. Athletic, energy, enthusiasm, a big difference. Rain Smith on both sides. Lob it up, and there's another jam. It's Cade Phillips. Well, it's exciting. Obviously, the crowd, the whole week, the anticipation of this game, playing against a, a great Tennessee team. Just got to settle down, execute in the half court. And defensively, you want to be up on the ball, pressure. And there you see Noah Waterman. Gainey sets the feet, wants the three, and knocks it down. So Jordan Gainey coming off the bench, the senior. Ziegler reads the defense. Akpara had deep position. Pryor snatches it away. This is Kaysen Pryor trying to go between the legs. The spin up with the left. Athletic move by Pryor. Which is saying a lot with all the experience and all the 1,000-point scores that they have. Putting Okapar, Okapar in the spin cycle right there, finishing with the left hand. Coming off the bench, too, these first couple of games. Ziegler, yes. So Zakai Ziegler has Tennessee's second triple. And soul of this Tennessee basketball team. Yeah, now a two-time all-conference selection. This is Smith. He can get to the rim a bit, draws the foul. And so free throws for Louisville when we return. So Tennessee attacking the in the upward trajectory. Yeah, well, what, what, yeah, Tennessee and coming into Louisville in this environment. Song Gainey gives the Vols a new 20. Cameron Carr on the floor. It's number 43 in the far corner. His first minutes today. Ziegler, a couple of Hezies, picks up the dribble. Mayshack's open in the corner. Yeah, there's another triple for Mayshack. And Kev, he's known as a defensive guy, but over this summer, from May to August, Shot over 30,000 jump shots in the gym. And it's paying dividends seeing right there, knocking down the corner. That's, that's a lot of makes. Javon Hadley with the answer on the other side. 
build from literally nothing just about when they arrived here. Carr guarded very closely that time by Hadley. So six to shoot. Great job by Louisville keeping them so far away from the basket. It's so tough for our offense when you're playing such, starting your offense that far away from the basket. You see Akpara right there. It's free on the baseline and Carr snags it. And you see what Tennessee is doing to this Louisville basketball team. They're up, they're in them. Every shot is rushed. Every shot at the rim is contested. Tennessee is doing a great job of making it hard for Louisville on the offensive side of the ball. Well, it's beginning to develop. The junior from Nigeria spent the last couple of years at Ohio. Action against Wofford next Saturday at noon. UNC in a just the switch. Pryor's got the shorter Ziegler on it. Drives, picks up the dribble, extra pass to Edwards, wants the triple. Phillips got a piece of it. He's running the floor. Up ahead to Phillips. Gathers, and he's got another basket. Phillips with six. Done, but every single shot is a hard shot yeah. for this Louisville basketball team, and you got to credit that Tennessee defense. They are just staggering. A lot of contests. Lanier with the reverse. Just enough English. The rim to rim. Just Great mismatch running the floor. Edwards had his man of the year. The leader, Cowens, and the foul. Terrence Edwards with his first bucket. Yeah, tough. Turn that defense into offense. I know you like to write down your notes. Did you do all that math by hand with this team? If you won't count at the production, you need a calculator. They've got a lot of experience they signed out of the portal. Edwards. That breakout season at James Madison, like you mentioned. Lanier between the legs. Oh, and he buries it right in Smith's face. They need to get going. He's a, he's a capable scorer. He's a six-man player of the year for Washington last year. You know, he's a guy who can score on all three levels. Ziegler, all of a sudden, everything opens up. He takes it away. Pryor blocks it. And look at Sakai Ziegler right on the baseline, wreaking havoc. He's stuck with it. And Tennessee's got a chance to pull ahead by maybe as many as 20. Estrella and the foul. It's a 20-point cushion. It's like Estrella Phillips Ganey, their second years of the program. How big of a... Pepper, another block. Ziegler got a piece of it. On the run out, lays it up and in. And so there is the latest example of just that pressure tight defense. So Tennessee has now blocked three shots, four steals. Treore now with the strong drive. Extra pass to Waterman. He's got an open look. Count it. And the foul. He's got some words for Jemai. Uh, he must have taken exception. You saw it on the replay there. Maybe a little, a bit of a hip bump, if you will. Hole on this side of the floor, trying to just chip away at this large deficit. Waterman for three. Who's going to be the guy to get him going? It, it could be anybody right now, but Waterman is the guy who decided to step up. We've seen him hit this third three, and Hepburn. That is a well-timed 9-0 run. Make it a 10-0 run. 12-point game. Just ahead of halftime. A little bit of full court pressure right here. Getting the crowd involved to it, Kev. I want to go out there and play. Louisville tightening up on this side. Ganey with three in the paint. Got it. Tough. Oh. Well, a great individual defense by Louisville, but better offense from Jordan Ganey. And so you got four seconds here for Hepburn to the corner. One second, Edwards offline. Tennessee takes the 14-point lead. Johnny Flynn to give the ball to as well. Future pro, and so Louisville trying to answer that question. Who could be the guy to bail him out, get him a basket when they need it? It's the first week of the season. We'll find out in due time. Chaz Lanier cashes in once again from... 
Pryor cut off by Lanier. Pryor off balance, earns himself a uh, well-earned trip to the free throw line. And so Lanier and Mayshack did a fight, and then vote on the uh, preseason top 18, if you will. Coming in and just giving a different type of energy. They're my sleeper for this ACC conference. And this Pick, if you will, to look at Louisville with a lot of the experience that it brought in out of the transfer portal. Milicic, 4-3. He can stretch it a little bit after he picked up two quick fouls. So we didn't see much of him in the opening period. Edwards, aggressive drive off the glass and in. There's Terrence Edwards, Jr., the fifth-year school. Louisville hasn't beaten a ranked team in three and a half years. Pryor trying to jam it down. Kaysen Pryor, the very dynamic stretch big, is headed back to the free throw line. That this Tennessee volunteer has on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, what do you make today for Tennessee? Pryor, all conference at South Florida last year. Went to high school brought it today. You know, and even despite the struggles today, again, they fell behind 10 zip. They've been down by double digit much of the game. We know all about this fan base. You just reference it right there. They have been ready to ignite, really, at any moment. At the, you know, they want to be back among the nation's trips to the Final Four. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, anytime you have a, a rich history of, of basketball success, you try to get some open looks. You got to be able to knock down some three-point shots. It's getting later in the game and. Speaking a, of it right yeah. there, Rain. Straight on three for Rain Smith. I don't know if they can hear me. Turnovers that they're creating. Louisville has struggled on this end of the floor, uh, uh, this end of the floor, excuse me, 25% shooting. Rain Smith from distance. Knocks down another. His second in the last couple of minutes. Hello. And Louisville back within single digits for the first time. Since the midway mark of the first, Lanier attacks, picks up the dribble, got to kick it out to Meshack. One on the timer, a deep hoist, Ziegler! Oh. And yet, even despite that, they still have a double figure advantage. Lanier pulls it, knocks down a triple. What is still in it? They still have opportunities to get back into this basketball game. They just really have not been able to go on any sort of run. They've been down double digits since the early minutes of the game. Lanier, boy, it bounced right to him. And the lead is swelled back to 17. 19-point afternoon for Lanier. And, and Kev, we talked to Rick Barnes before the game. He, he talked about how calm and you know, collected that Jazz Lanier is. You can see it in this game. He's not rushed. Uh, Jacksonville has scored in a variety of ways today. Milicic puts it on the deck. Akpara scores it and the foul. And so Felix Akpara is warning you. And, and oh, by the way, he's got a jump shot now uh, in the offseason. So the staff challenge you to make 30,000 shots. Milicic with the latest basket. Look, you make 30,000 shots. Can we get him a bigger cake? Tennessee went through about a three, four minute stretch where they struggled really on both ends of the floor. I don't think Louisville fully took advantage of that. That was their chance to really shrink the deficit and get this place rocking. Hepburn, 4 3. They still got 840 to go, and that three will help. Yeah, well, we've been talking about it the whole game, Kev. You know, Tennessee turning the ball over, but Louisville not taking advantage of those turnovers. And, and again, we know Rick Barnes is, just, is in the huddle telling his Tennessee basketball team to take care of the basketball. There you see Ziegler. Now. Tennessee has done a great job of taking them out of how they want to play. We talked to Pat Kelsey. Their game is getting up and down, up-tempo play, and Tennessee is forcing them to play in the half court almost every single possession down the floor, only two fast break points. Ziegler connects team. again. Yeah, and if you're Tennessee, you don't need to rush anything. Get in your set, execute, get the best shot. Ganey, that triple is down and out. It was tipped up, almost rolled back in. Akpara stuck with it, and Felix Akpara. There's one thing that you had spotlighted 
this week as we were getting ready for this one. Tennessee's physicality. Oh, Ziegler, just a blow, just a clear path to the lane. Gets by Hepburn and no help comes. You know, even after four or five turnovers, just shut down and their aggressiveness is, is no more in the game. And Zakai Ziegler, he, he's just showing the confidence that he has. He's a heart of a lion. You know, continuing to be aggressive, continuing to look for himself. In for second half. So that is a major flip. How about the freshman from D.C., Kanai Roots off the bench, just hit that triple a moment ago, so he gets some action for the first time today, pulls the trigger, and converts Corin Lass. They're plus 18 on the boards today. Smith pulls another from the other wing. That's good. And, and, and Ray Smith is a, a, a great shooter, but just a little detail that I see on the shot. What's now? And now Louisville, I know they like to play fast, but now they really have to play fast. And you see Ziegler oh, right Ziegler there. Ziegler taking it away from the rookie. Ganey goes up, draws the foul. Times Again, there have been several occasions where Tennessee has looked well, right. And it starts with Rick Barnes, obviously. He's been in every situation in college basketball. Yeah, Rick, Rick Barnes isn't afraid of competition. And, no. and we all know, and the top coaches know, to be the best, you have to play the best. And, and that's what Tennessee wants to do. They want to see where they're at. And, you know, they're Barrow with a two hands. 12 points last year, it was a walk-on. So 15 first-year transfers, one rookie. And here is the track coming up for the cars. You know, uh, Pat Kelsey will play his former club, Winthrop. In a yeah, some of the numbers are staggering. So Tennessee plus 28 paint points. They're plus 16 on the glass. Hepburn draws the foul. Chucky Hepburn going to the free throw line. And, and there's a lot. I think a key word you said right there is Joe. I mean, bringing that many new guys into a program, and, you know, trying to figure out what their roles are and how they could. With NCAA tournament experience, including the guy at the free throw line. So there is, did some good things as well. They just really could never get over the hump after Tennessee took a 10-0 lead right out of the shoot. Estrella gets blocked at the rim. Waterman blocks him a second time. And Rain Smith pulls it away. There's a foul there on Estrella. Louisville was just never able to put that run. Get better from it and then move on to the next game. He's one of a, a couple of Cougars that Pat Kelsey brought with him. But it does feel like Louisville will be headed in the right direction, and, and it feels like they have got somebody at the controls here in Pat Kelsey, who will work relentlessly along with his staff to elevate this program back into the upper echelon of the ACC. Longtime disciple of coaching icon Skip Prosser is one of his mentors. He still quotes him feverishly throughout days and practices. Waterman misfires from deep. And so this one's in the books. Tennessee took an early double-digit lead, led for almost the majority of this game, and really overwhelmed Louisville at times. Defensively, it's a 22-point victory for the Vols. They start 2-0, and now there's Rick Barnes with his 204.